CodeCamp doing JavaScript algos and data structures in the regular expressions course on challenge 4 of 33. And today we're going to ignore case while matching. So we learned about matching in the previous three lessons, the, only, the first three lessons, and now we're going to learn how to ignore case. So there's what's known as flags in both regex, terminal, like this is a known kind of concept in programming where you have something called a flag that like any other flag in real life, indicates something, it, it represents something. So in this case, uh, for example, if we want to ignore case of letters, so we want to find, we want an expression that will find, um, for example, the word free code camp, no matter the case, right? So free code camp camel case like this, or all lowercase, all capital, regardless of case, we want to find the uh, a potential match, right? Just these characters, uppercase or lowercase, we can use the I flag. So the flag is the letter I, and flags generally with regex appear at the end of the expression after the last forward slash that uh, closes off what we want to look for. So in this example here, forward slash ignore case, forward slash I, this will find any string that contains these characters in this order of any case okay so uppercase lowercase a mix of any it doesn't matter because we have this i flag which stands for ignore case okay so that's how you remember it i ignore case and it will find any potential match so you can see in this example they want us to find free code camp no matter the case right so all uppercase all lowercase any combination camel cased or otherwise we want to match it. So to do that normally, right, we know that whatever between the forward slashes is what we match. So let's find free code camp like they wanted, but also ignore the case. So let's add that flag at the end of the expression after the last forward slash, you know, noting what we're actually looking for. Add the flag, just the I, just like that. That's the expression now. That's all we have to say. And now if we run the test, that should do it. Just to show you, I'm going to create some other strings here. So let one equal free code camp, all lowercase, and then let example two equal free code camp. And then let's do one more. I'll let example three equal a string free code camp like that okay so now you can see we have three different strings all saying free code camp but we're only testing for this case string but then we're telling it ignore all case so in theory all of these three should match and return a true result so let's say let result two equal, we're going to take the regex expression, so free code camp FCC regex dot test, and now we want to pass it each of these strings and see if it's actually what we expect. So let's console dot log result two and pass it each of these examples and see what we get. So Naturally, you would imagine this would be true because it's going to ignore case, right? It's all lowercase, but we're searching for the capital C's. Oh no, we're telling it ignore case. So this should be a true, uh, a true result as well. This should be a pass. So let's say example one. You can see true. Yes, that is a pass. This all capital, but it is the same characters. It's just capital. So we're going to ignore case. This once again will also be true, and then this last one, same thing all mix of capital lowercase, but we're ignoring them. So this as well is true. It's only if the string was not an exact match that it would say false. Okay. So I hope that helped and I hope that made sense guys. Um, that's all we really needed for this one was this, this I flag at the end of it and then adding free code camp between the actual target the actual forward slashes of where we're actually targeting what we're actually targeting uh, but yeah that's all we needed hope that made sense hope that helped if you have any comments please leave them in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as possible